Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about things dropping dead. Hey David, my DSLR says that the shutter will last 100,000 exposures. Will it fail at 100,000 exposures? Well, the, the long and short answer to that is no. Uh, it does, if, if you buy a camera that says rated for 100, 150, pick a number. What I, my, my K1 that I'm using right now is rated for 200,000 shutters, uh, shutter exposures. That does not mean that when I hit that number, the camera's gonna say, I'm retired, shutter's jammed, I'm done. We're, we're, it was a good run. That's not what's gonna happen. So the shutter rating is a rating that during testing was the statistical average failure rate over a large sample size. Now what that means is that they take some number of shutters. I don't know what that number is. This is the shutter manufacturer. The different camera makers don't manufacture their own shutters, they never have. It used to be Copal made most of the shutters. I assume that they still do. I, I honestly don't know who's making the shutters now. But the shutter manufacturer would take a large batch of the shutters that they're making, this model of shutter. And then they just set them up to a, something that'll power them to, to actuate over and over and over and over again until they jam and fail. And jamming means either the leaves, which, which fold up like this to take a picture and then and unfold when the, the photo's done, either they jam like that, or that some mechanism, a gear gets stripped, or something happens that causes the shutter to stop working. So they, they test these shutters, and over the course of the failure rate for all of these, they find out what number of exposures they could, and then the, the, the rating for it is the statistical average of those failures for the sample size. Um, those ratings are also tend to be pretty conservative, because they, if you, you're buying a $2,000 or greater camera with a shutter rated at 200,000 actuations, and it fails at 309, um, they're gonna have a really unhappy customer. Uh, if it fails six photos after the warranty expired, they're gonna have an even more unhappy customer. So, so those ratings tend to be on the conservative side. My, my Pentax K7, which was my first DSLR, still works and is at a shutter count 50% beyond the rated shutter count. My K3 is at almost 200,000 actuations, which is the rating, and the shutter has had no issues whatsoever and it shows no signs of slowing down. So the shutter count rating should be taken as a reflection of the general shutter build quality, but not as gospel truth as to how long your shutter is going to last. 